Are you serious? Are you serious? Get a cup of coffee. Calm down. And remember, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Matter of fact, the Apostle Paul even gives us some more powerful, encouraging words when he says these words in Philippians 4. Verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good, report. If there be any virtue, <clears throat> and if there be any praise, think on these things. Though, though things which ye have both learned, and received, and heard, and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Let me just say, Sunday night, uh, I can't even remember how many people there were Sunday night, actually. I believe it was 29. Uh, 29 people accepted Christ Jesus that we know of in the chat room on Sunday night and 23 in the chat room yesterday during our live broadcast. Unbelievable how the last, about the last six weeks, we've seen an unbelievable surge in people coming to Jesus Christ. Our online crowds are growing on every front, and our television ministry is ranking now in the top 8% of all Christian broadcasting that airs on the networks we're on. Why? The question is why. It's because we're living in the last days. People want to know what's going on, and they want to know how it relates to Bible prophecy. And the Lord impressed upon me this morning in prayer during devotion. He said, Paul, even though the circumstances, even though the landscape is rocky and, and, and there's events taking place worldwide and the, the devil is loose on the land and the political turbulence in America is off the charts and the, the, and the, uh, the hatred that goes on among people is unbelievable. He said, I want to say now that the body of Christ needs to know that I will never leave them, I will never forsake them, but I will go with them all the way, even to the end of the world, and encourage them to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. One scripture says, For your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And David said, or, or the, the book of Proverbs says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding, for in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord, and he will direct your path. Well, here's what he goes on to say. He goes on to say that these things that are happening around us, yes, we know they're rough, but focus on these things. Whatever things are pure, and whatever things are lovely, and true, and honest, and things that are good, and, of, and anything that has virtue, focus on these things, all right? Encourage, in other words, encourage yourself in the work of the Lord and in the presence of the Lord and in the blessing of the Lord. And then he goes on to say, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly. And now at the last, your care of me hath flourished again, wherein you were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatever state I'm in, therewith be content. I, both, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. In other words, Paul said, I've been in the good times and the bad. I've been in the lean times and the, and the abundant times. And so through it all, he says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthen me. No matter what circumstances are in your life or mine, 
Sickness may come. Tragedy or death in the family may come. Financial hardship may come. Persecution may come. Uh, Tribulation, trials, uh, troubles, they may come. But you can do all things through Christ that strength you. Also, blessings may come. Outpourings of God's love may come. Joy may come. And remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. God bless you guys. I'll be back. More current world events coming up here today. We're going to have a powerful live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. You don't want to miss it. We're living certainly in the last days, and the signs are everywhere of the coming of Jesus Christ. I'll be right back. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get a fresh cup of coffee because we're running out of time.